Good afternoon. My name is Ms. Henry, and I'm going to be teaching you how to calculate IV medication administration problems. Before we begin, and before you work any problem, you will need to have available a calculator, your rounding rules, and you will be using the latest edition available of Betty Gerhardt's Intravenous Medication IV Drug Book. The first type of problem that we're going to work is a basic IV rate calculation formula. With this type of problem, you always put milliliters to infuse your volume over time to be infused your hours. This will equal milliliters per hour. We're going to work a problem so that I can show you how to do a milliliters per hour IV problem. You have an order that says infuse 1,000 milliliters over 12 hours. 1,000 milliliters is your volume that goes is your numerator and goes on the top. 12 hours is your denominator that goes on the bottom of the problem. And you then take your calculator and say 1,000 divided by 12, which equals 83.33. 83.33, and you have milliliters per hour. You always must put with your answer in the blank what you were solving for. 83.33 milliliters per hour. Now let's take a moment to talk about rounding rules. You came up with 83.33 milliliters per hour. You can't deliver that amount by pump or by gravity. So we need to round it. 83.33 according to our rounding rules will equal 83 milliliters per hour. Refer to Blackboard for our set of rounding rules. According to the rounding rules, all calculations should be carried to the nearest 100th and maintained at the 100th until arriving at the final answer. Final answers should be rounded to the nearest 10th with some exceptions. Any IV problem has to be a whole number. So 83.33. If the last digit to the right is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, you will drop the last digit. It will be a whole number. If the last digit to the right is a 5, 6, 7, or 8, you would round up. Now we're going to work a different type of IV rate calculation. We're now administering an antibiotic. We have an order that reads, administer 500 milligrams of ampicillin IV piggyback in 50 milliliters of normal saline. We are to infuse this antibiotic over 30 minutes. Where did I get my information? Often your antibiotic comes pre-prepared from the pharmacy in a bag. On that bag, you need to find the volume, how much normal saline that that medication is diluted in. It will say on the bag, how much volume, 50 milliliters. It will also tell you on the bag, usually if it's pre-prepared from the pharmacy, what rate of time to infuse it over, 30 minutes. However, People do make errors in the pharmacy. Sometimes inappropriate amounts get put on the bags. It is your professional and nursing responsibility to look up in your drug book each drug and make sure that it is diluted appropriately with the right amount of fluid, that it's diluted in the right type of fluid, such as normal saline or D5W, and also it's your responsibility to make sure that you are going to infuse it over the correct amount of time. All of that information will be found in your Gearheart Intravenous Medication book. 
once again, with this type of problem, we always put our volume or our amount to be delivered milliliters on the top, our numerator. Our time that we infuse it over is the denominator, and in this case, it's minutes. When we are working with minutes, we have to put in an extra step and say there are 60 minutes in one hour. Always remember that your minutes need to go on top because they have to be able to cancel each other out.